Hi everyone, this is Charlie from Voodoo Authentic of New Orleans. I am a spiritualist and medium, priest of Palo Mayombe and Voodoo. I have a message from Spirit for you today. I'm going to be using the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot deck to divine that message by pulling one card and then interpreting that card with guidance from Spirit. The New Orleans Voodoo Tarot is one of my most favorite divination tools. I always grab this deck when I want to offer an intuitive oracle style of reading. The artwork and energy that's woven through is so beautifully expressive of the rich cultural heritage of New Orleans. One of the things I love most about the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot is its inclusive vibe for all who wish to connect with it. So if you're beginning to explore your unique spiritual path and you're taking those first steps of self-discovery, or you're an advanced practitioner who desires to deepen their connection to these energies, Maybe you're merely curious as to how the spirits of New Orleans voodoo can touch your life. Everyone can receive inspiration, insight, guidance, and blessings from the spirits of New Orleans voodoo when you connect with them through this deck. So we have these at the shop for you. We also have these really beautiful happy beads from Nigeria that we can bless for you. We have so much cool new stuff at the shop. So please come in and visit us. We're at 612 Rue Dumaine. We would love to see you or give us a call. We're happy to connect with you that way as well. I'm going to begin by shuffling with a very relaxed energy, settling my intentions in, asking God and the ancestors and spirits of New Orleans voodoo to guide me in delivering their message to us today. You have the mambo coming through. This week, the mambo would like you to take some time to redefine how you view yourself and to rework the conversations that are going in your head. If these conversations are good, boost them to better. Examine these conversations. If you're living defined by what other people call you and say that you are and reinforce in your ear, turn that conversation over. You don't want to be living by other people's definitions is what the Mambo is saying. You have the power to redefine the narrative in your mind, in your heart, and all around you. As within, so without. So now's the time to examine this. Am I speaking kindly to myself? Are my inner conversations reinforcing positivity, acceptance, empowerment? Are they challenging me to become better in a positive way or are they negative? We all have these struggles. So the Mambo is saying, remove that narrative that has been imposed upon you by other people and reinforced by your own fears and insecurities. It's not an easy goal, but it's something that we can continue to examine. Redefine yourself for yourself. Okay, turn those negative conversations into something that can be productive. Examine how often you follow along with what other people define you to be. That is merely an observation from an outside perspective. It does not need to be your truth. Okay, we can heal and transform when we begin to do this type of work. Take back our power and how we define our worth. Like I said, if it's if you have a good self-image, boost it up to great, okay? It can always be, that's not egotistical, that's empowering. We can still have respect and humility and integrity, but have these positive conversations flowing in our inner world. Your outer world will reflect that. And you've gotta just take that chance and say, all right, I'm gonna try this and see what happens. It may be uncomfortable, but that's where transformation happens. And the Mambo has got your back. Absolutely. There's support and empowerment coming from this message. And I hope that was helpful. Please know at Voodoo Authentic of New Orleans, we are here for you 11 to 7, seven days a week to continue to aid you and guide you on your spiritual journey. We're sending you a ton of love and blessings and support, empowering you towards your goals with positivity and success. We thank you so much.